Okay. Clapping. This weekend, President Cyril Cupcake Ramaphosa announced the members of the National Executive. And much like siblings in an orphanage, some portfolios were merged together while others were separated. With the most talked about being the Ministry of Agriculture, which no longer falls under rural development and land reform. So where before one would be the Minister of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, now John Steenhuizen is Minister of Only Agriculture, meaning that he deals with everything to do with land production. Translation, we'll not be getting the land back. No, I'm just joking. No, I'm not. Julia, save us. Tell USA, which speaks on behalf of South African farmers. Look, I, I tried to find out what Tell You stands for, but their whole website is in Afrikaans, bro. So I, Look, it stands for all <coughs> white farmers, all, all farmers, all farmers. It stands for all farmers. Well, they were happy about this change, saying that the previous agriculture ministers were caught up in the ANC ideological approach. And at times, that had brought to the table some issues which were not grounded on market principles and profitability. Further saying that John Steen Hazen understands the economics better. Wait, is this the same John who only has a metric? John Stan Hazen. That John. You know, sometimes you can just say, he's white and we're happy. Like, that's, that's fine. That's an option. You don't have to do all this. He understands the economics better. Bullshit. A bullshit? Who, who, who are you kidding here, bro? Just honestly, who, who are you kidding here? Because we are talking about the same guy who for years now has tried to push the narrative that farm murders are racially motivated. When even white farmers who have suffered this very attacks have themselves dispelled the very notion saying that farm murders, much like any other crime and any other murder in South Africa, is motivated by poverty and struggle and that politicians should be focusing on fixing that that guy that guy trying to push that narrative he understands the economics better Get the fuck out of my face bro do me a favor please get out of here get out of here man the second most talked about appointment was that of the minister of sports arts and culture yes gaten rags to riches mckenzie I, Gaten McKenzie, swear solemnly affirm that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa. Oh. Oh. There were some mixed reactions to the appointment of the former criminal, now leader of the Patriotic Alliance. Because what happened to being Minister of Home Affairs? Hmm? Also, there's a lot of foreigners in Sundown, so I think like Gaten might be secretly a Kaiser Chiefs supporter. Catch my drift? Mm. By the way, I'm going to be very careful about how I uh, cover this story because number one, I don't know which crimes he did back in the day, so I don't know which crimes he's prepared to do to me. Two, he's the minister of the industry that I work in. I don't want to fuck with Gaten now. In fact, I'd rather suck his dick twice on a Sunday. It doesn't make me gay, dummy, okay? It makes me economically savvy, like John Steen Hazen. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The Kiffness, David Scott, took a very different approach from me, calling Gaten a snake oil salesman, a demagogue of the highest order, saying that based on his track record of flip-flopping on coalitions, embezzling money from fundraisers, and destroying small towns like Neisner, he cannot be trusted. Eh? Kiffness? Awful. Actor and comedian Sivan Gessi, though calling Gaten's appointment a joke, said that he simply doesn't know enough about him, but he will be giving him the benefit of the doubt. You don't give a demagogue benefit of the doubt. Siv, stop acting like a white dude in a horror movie. You're black, you're gonna die, bro. You're gonna die, bro. Hey, Siv, I've seen you boxing heels, and uh, I just wanted you to know that I don't mean the things I say. I just want to be funny and stuff. Now for my personal take. The position of sports, arts, and culture has been passed around like a porn magazine in the 90s. Everyone uses it, but no one cares about it, okay? Some effort is put into the sports part, 
it's just the spring box to be honest but nothing is ever done for the arts and culture part i don't know any artist that actually expects the government to do anything for them to be honest most of us would settle for sensible copyright laws and royalties things that organizations like saga have been fighting for for decades now and honestly i think i like most artists I don't expect Gaten to do anything or to be instrumental in achieving these goals in any way. But I'm so excited because I, I promised that spinning shall be recognized, and I'm going to keep that promise. I'm going to make spinning one of the biggest sports in this country. Uh, Gaten, if you do decide to actually do something about these, remember some people. I willing to suck dick twice on a Sunday because they are economically savvy. This message was brought to you by John Steen Hazel.